Well, first of all, all our thoughts are with the victims of this appalling attack and also with their families and loved ones. And also, it's just right that we pay tribute to the bravery of the police who were able to act very swiftly and also prevent any other further acts of violence and to protect the public. And of course, alongside the police, our emergency workers were incredibly swift in terms of getting to the scene and providing support, particularly to the victims. Well, there is a police investigation, rightly so, taking place right now. Um, and this offender clearly had some history, um, some clear history, in relation to counter-terrorism offences. And it's right that the police are now investigating that and looking into all of that. But I think I should also just say that, you know, only two weeks ago, post the Fishmongers Hall attack that took place in December, I announced a very clear package of measures basically all aimed at counter-terrorism and counter-terrorist offenders, that we would effectively stop their early release, but also double their sentences, overhaul their licensing conditions, give the police that they, the more support that they needed. So that was more support for counter-terrorism police, more investment in counter-terrorism probation officers, and greater support for the victims of counter-terrorism. And quite rightly, that was two weeks ago we announced that package of measures. We have also been very clear that we'll be bringing forward a counter-terrorism bill in our first 100 days, and we'll absolutely do that. But tomorrow, we will also be announcing some fundamental changes in addition to what we've already said that we will do to deal with counter-terrorism and counter-terrorist offenders.